Hello everybody. Today we're learning about subtracting mixed numbers. You may remember that mixed numbers are numbers that have whole numbers in them and fractions. Here you can see we have some mixed numbers. Here is the whole number and here is the fraction. Whole number, fraction. Now this calculation is not yet ready for subtracting. Do you know why not? The reason is that the denominators need to be the same and at the moment they are not. We have 8 and 16. We need to make them the same. Remember that when you find equivalent fractions, whatever you do to the denominator, you must do the same to the numerator to match. What could both the denominators be? And what will the new fractions look like? We could make both of our denominators 16. If we multiply this one by 2, we will make 16 and our denominators will match. Remembering the rule that whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator to match. Because we multiply this by 2, we must multiply this by 2 as well. So here you can see our new fraction. And now this is ready to carry out. We are ready to carry out the calculation. Now firstly, looking at the fractions only, we have 2 sixteenths take away 5 sixteenths. And we have a problem. 2 take away 5 is going to be a problem. Do you know how to solve this? What we will do is we will borrow one of these and move it across here to help us. A little bit like when you do column subtraction. But we need to think really carefully what we're actually moving across because we're working with fractions. Because we're working in sixteenths, when we move one whole one across, we're actually moving sixteen sixteenths across. Because sixteen sixteenths, sixteen out of sixteen is one whole one. So here we go. We're going to move one of these across, which is sixteen sixteenths. And um, because we had two sixteenths here already, we now have 18 sixteenths. Because we've moved this across to help us, we now have four left here. We've moved 16 sixteenths. We've moved one whole one. We're now ready to do this calculation. Firstly, looking at our whole numbers, we have four take away two. Four take away two is two. Now we can look at our fractions. We have 18 sixteenths, subtract 5 sixteenths. 18 subtract 5, we're left with 13 sixteenths. So our final answer is we have two whole numbers, two whole ones, and 13 sixteenths. 13 sixteenths. So our final answer is 2 and 13 sixteenths. Something to think about is that if your final answer includes an improper fraction, which is where the numerator is larger than the denominator, for example, 8 fifths, you need to think about how many whole ones you have and rewrite the number. So in 2 and 8 fifths, we are actually working in fifths. We always look at the denominator to know what we're working in. We're working in fifths. And you need to think how many fifths will make a whole one. Now, 5 fifths make a whole one. In other words, 5 out of 5 is one whole one. We already had two whole ones, and 5 fifths is another whole one. So now we have three whole ones, and also three fifths left over. The reason we have three fifths left over, if you're saying that 5 fifths makes you another whole one, changing this to 3, 5 fifths, there are now three fifths left over. If you imagine moving five of these across to here, you now have three fifths left. So our final answer is going to be three whole ones and three fifths.